today we're building a dog house at our friends Gray and Claire's house in their awesome workshop. And we are shy. So we got this chest freezer off of Facebook Marketplace for free from Lady It's Broken. So we're gonna turn this into a dog house. Gray here, he's removing all of the components from inside of it. We went ahead and built this base for it, which we just attached with some regular exterior grade screws. Flipping it over to prepare to put on these latches. These latches help secure the door and keep it nice and tight and um, warm for banjo. And we went ahead and cut, cut out all the metal pieces there so that this would be the entrance for Banjo's doghouse to keep them nice and warm. I had to cut away all this material there and I put in this wooden base right here so that he'd be able to get in and out. Then I used some offcuts from a pallet factory that are just pine pieces that we use to do some shingling on the sides here. And here it is with all the shingling finished on the sides. It's looking pretty good, but now it's time to work on the cat house section up on top. So we put in these frame pieces right here. Went ahead and put in the roof slope. We made it so that it goes back and to the side to give it kind of a cool, aesthetically pleasing looking roof slope. Went ahead and cut all the rafter pieces for the cat house section. Then I took a little break because, you know, I'd been there a long time. Here it is with all the rafters mocked up. Just attaching those, getting those onto this cat house section. I was really pleased with how this looked. Kind of a rustic looking chicken house style. So I put some plywood that was from chicken houses that I got locally for $10 a sheet, four by eight. I went ahead and attached that. It's a good use of this cheap plywood that's a little bit stinky and gross from the chicken houses. Put some uh, roofing underlayment just in case any water gets through. This is a knife that Gray made and it's really cool. It's really sharp. It's perfect for cutting this underlayment. looking good. Next I put on some pieces of insulation on there, just some kind of like roofing insulation. And then I went ahead and put all these offcuts. I had a lot of weird shaped offcut pieces just left over from other roofing projects. So it took me a while to figure out what orientation would cover the roof totally and make good use of all these pieces. Once I got them oriented in the way I wanted, I went ahead and put on um, some roofing screws with those rubber seals to make sure that water can't get in there. So then I just had to figure out how to move this heavy thing. Gray helped me get it in the truck, helped me move it out here, and then I just drug it with the four-wheeler over to where it was going to go for its permanent home. Pretty happy with how it came out. Believe it or not, this was a big pain to get this into, into place by myself. It's really heavy. So this is a cat house section. We added a door on there so that we could fill and um, clean out straw. Straw is really insulative, so it's a great bedding material. And here I'm putting the bedding in and you know get it all over Bancho, which he wasn't too pleased about. And it's a little bit low, but it's gonna be perfect for him to be able to bed down and stay really nice and warm. Here, these are the cat house holes. This is where they go into their cat house. There's a nice little ledge built in here so that we can feed the cats. As you can see, they're loving it. Helps keep the food away from the dog too, who loves to come and snack down on the cat food. And you can see Houdini coming through his little hole into his side of the cat house. He absolutely loves it. One of the later things we'll do is we'll add sod to the top of this roof in springtime so that it can help keep it cooler during summer. And here it is. This is the finished cat and doghouse palace. Hopefully this was helpful for some of y'all. Let me know if there's any questions. And once again, we really do appreciate you guys watching. 
subscribe if you would like to see more stuff. We will continue to put out other stuff. Thanks for your support.